A series of floods that occur from year to year in Indonesia cause more than hundreds of people to displace and lose properties. Floods often cause fatalities. According to the records of the National Disaster Management Agency, BNPB, flood is the hazard that occurs the most in Indonesia from year to year. Flood is triggered by some factors in which are accumulation of high rainfall at a short time that causes the soil and plants to be water saturated. Another factor is the damaged system caused by deforestation and land transfer function in the upper area. Flood can lead to the worst risks and impacts, especially if the community doesn't have good capacity to encounter it. The community-based early warning system is one of the efforts that can be taken as a preparedness action in the time of hazard. When the early warning system can be applied properly, communities have sufficient time to save their families and properties. Through managing risk through economic development programs, Mercy Corps Indonesia collaborates with the stakeholders to develop community-based flood early warning systems in 10 villages. The approach used in building a community early warning system is adapted from the Sendai framework that recommends four key elements of community-based early warning systems. Namely, understanding disaster risk, forecast, monitoring and warning, dissemination and communication, and emergency response capabilities. Based on the recommendation, there are flood early warning components that are currently developed. They are weather forecast information issued regularly by BMKG, automatic rainfall measurement tool, river water level monitoring tool, either in the form of ultrasonic sensor or solar power-based CCTV, which monitors the river for 24 hours. Through the tools, the community can monitor the river water level online. Data from the automatic rain gauge and river water level monitoring tool can be accessed on the dashboard ews.sigikab.go.id. The dashboard can be viewed on the display installed at the village hall or accessed from the smartphone. Furthermore, in every high-risk sub-village, early warning sirens are also installed and sounded in accordance with the applicable status. In addition of equipment, Standard Operating Procedure, or SOP, is the instrument that must be prepared in the early warning system. Good communication flow should be established at the community level when signs of danger are about to occur. When the dashboard display receives a signal of rising early warning status, the officer will inform it to the Head of Disaster Preparedness Group and the Village Head. Then, the Head of Disaster Preparedness Group will order to the River Monitor Officer to monitor the river, instruct the Siren Officer to ring the siren in accordance with the recommended status, and instruct the Evacuation Officers and the Dissemination Officers to take action in accordance with the existing status. At the same time, the village head will report to the local disaster management operation control center regarding the current situation of village. BNPB and BMKG recommend three levels of early warning status, such as ready, get set, and go level. The ready level is featured by rain more than one hour and the river water level reaching the yellow line. In this situation, communities in high-risk locations should start securing their valuable goods in safe place and preparing important items such as documents, food and water supply as well as drugs in the grab bag. The get set level is showed with heavy rain for more than two hours. The river water level reaching the orange line and the color of the river water becomes darker. In this situation, the vulnerable groups that live in high-risk areas evacuate themselves immediately to relatives or friends' house that are far from the hazard threat. Early warning status rises to go level. If it has been raining more than three hours and the river water level reaching the red line, in this condition it can be heard rumble sounds from the upstream area. 
the color of the river water becomes more darker, followed by a strong scent from the river. In this situation, the evacuation officer will ask the community to bring the grab bag and evacuate themselves through the evacuation lines that lead to the meeting point. The hazard threat might not be eliminated, but we can reduce the vulnerability and increase the community capacities to face such threats. So the disaster risks can be minimalized. Let's join and contribute in efforts of disaster risk reduction. Your every contribution is highly meaningful because there is no insignificant contribution in disaster management efforts.